I'm not a painter. Is that clear? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's true. Because I'm, I'm a doctor and I've spent now uh, over 55 years in, in medicine and my work for nearly all that time has been to do with life energy and with healing rather than the more mundane aspects of medicine and, and psychiatry. And so over many years I've encouraged creativity because I always believe that creativity coming from the right place is the answer. Now back in 1961, before you were born, um, they, I was in charge of the psychiatric wards of a hospital and my job every morning was to interview the new patients briefly and allocate them to various junior doctors. And at lunch I'd meet with the head psychologist who'd also seen the patients and we'd have a talk about them. He said, he said you make a brilliant, you can smell a hallucination, you can, you can sniff a delusion, and like I am now, but, <laughs> but, 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 the, but the, the problem is, he said, you don't know that this woman is, is, a, is a wonderful pianist. This woman grows champion camellias. He said, you don't know the good things. I said, well, I'm a doctor. I'm trained to find the bad things, not the good things. And that sat in my mind, and I worked on it over many, many years, encouraging music. I had a rehabilitation unit in a, in a chronic mental hospital, the back wards, and we had uh, two to 400 chronic, I mean very chronic patients, some there 20, 30 and more years. And uh, I had one occupational therapist part-time, one nurse, and two to four hundred patients in an empty hall. And, and we started as best we could uh, with music and whatever we could do just to help their creativity. And then years later I was photographing early one morning in, in Nova Scotia watching the sun come up and I was in a rented car and I was very glad it was rented as you're here because I backed the car over what I thought was some dark grass it turned out to be a deep pond and the car is just like this and, and, and I got my camera and I was able to get my camera around the bonnet and I was able to get out and, and get onto, onto the land. So I called a tow truck, I had to walk five miles to get the tow truck and the tow truck came and he put a hook on the front of the car and in 30 seconds the car was out. He said, it's a good thing you had two wheels on dry land. <laughs> and I said, I said, now that's to look at sick people. We can look at the two wheels in the mud. We can look at the two wheels on dry land. So everyone who comes to see me, we're going to be doing drumming, singing, painting, photography, poetry, because if we get them to do it in the right way, not the usual way necessarily, but the right way, we can change their life energy, their healing power within them, which to me is, is what really matters. There's lots of doctors who can give pills. There's very few that I have met that seem to be dedicated more to releasing what's, what the patient can do, what the person can do. So that's been my work. And so increasingly, um, it's been to do with uh, photography, painting, uh, sculpt, uh, pottery, we should say, uh, poetry, writing, and so on. My dear friend in psychiatry in Australia, and Ainsley Mears, one of the great psychiatrists, he got all his patients, uh, he put them in a hypnotic state, he'd have them all doing pottery and doing painting. But as far as I know, he didn't do it himself. And, and I thought, if, if I should do it for my patients, I should first of all be doing it for, for myself. So all these uh, pictures you're looking at have all been done for the point of view to raise your life energy as you're looking at them, but also to encourage you to go and do them yourself. Because if I can do them, I cannot paint a apple. I, I cannot uh, draw anything. It's not you don't need that skill. That, that's just left-brained, as it were, skill. But, so what I'm trying to do is something that you all can do if that's what you 
feel inclined to do, and if you're given some understanding of how to go about it. So my point is to, one, that you will have your energy raised by it, but two, that you will go and then help other people to raise their energy so the work uh, sort of continues.